Okay guys, so Sari has been a bit busy. I'll excuse these five because I need to keep some in my tools and utility chest anyway. But he wasted all of my wood! Speaking of, uh... I've been working on a to-do list. Yeah, I'll get that done at some point. Alright guys, so I hate to start it off like this, but it looks like we're going to be starting off with some time lapses because I have been doing some very grindy stuff since last episode. Uh, dang, I don't even know where to start. I guess the room is a good spot to start, is what you see me doing here. I just dug and dug and dug and <laughs> ended up with a really nice spot for building. It's uh, seven blocks tall by, I think it's like, I don't know, it's, it's over 32 blocks wide and length. I have no idea at this point, I lost track. I should go back and count it sometime soon. But at any rate, uh, yeah, got, oh, there you go. You just saw some diamonds. <laughs> I got some diamonds out of this quite a few. I'm honestly not sure what else I should talk about because I've got like five minutes of time lapse. I may just have to cut some of it out. And what you can see with the fences here is that uh, I was isolating individual chunks because one of them was spawning slimes and I had no idea which one. I have since figured it out and actually built a slime farm there, but yeah. Here you can see me digging out the not the latest section, but mm, I think it's the second or third to last section I dug out. You can also see the subject of this video, which is going to be the villagers. You can see them up in the top there, but I really want to move them into a better spot for trading. So that's what this episode is going to be about. Just got to get the room ready first, obviously. <laughs> In this video, I'm also planning on making a couple farms, so we'll see how far we get. You guys will have to let me know how I did on the camera with this software, because I can't tell if it's good or not, honestly. I can't tell if I dug the stuff out in an interesting way or whatever. I don't know if there is a way to <laughs> dig stuff out in an interesting way. All right, now we get on to the meat and the potatoes. So this is a design that I've worked on for a while. I loosely based it off of someone else's design. The rest of the machine I really based off someone else's design. In fact, I followed a tutorial, but <laughs> I'm not great with uh, entity machines. That's Sari's department, so I'm fairly happy with how it came out because it works. <laughs> In a second here, I'll take all the villagers down. It was really hard to record this in with a sensible camera because I made a new vault after Sari blocked all the torches in my old ones so spawning could happen inside of my vault. I did end up getting 
the vault made in a different area and kept very secret except for the fact that I ended up just telling him outright where it was because I was really proud of the door and wanted him to see it. So I think that deserves a bit of a gaff. Here's that system I was talking about. Link for the tutorial is in the description. Alright, that's the end of the time lapse. Let's jump back in. Okay. I really hope that this works because I don't want to lose my silk touch guy. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal if I do, but fingers crossed. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to power all the rails. Be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Hey, look at that. It appears to be working. Okay, so I guess I'll pick up the minecart and maybe make a automatic minecart collector. This guy's fortune. This guy I think is unbreaking. Oh, up strider. Okay. You're in next, boy. -o. That is not too savory. Okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. That should be up now. What's going on here? Wonder what I could have done to cause that. Let's try sending one more through and see if it's just that particular that particular one or if it's all of them. Okay, so it was just this one then. So why is it doing that then? Oh, I forgot some redstone. Duh. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more of the librarians in there. Alright, I got one. This is mending. Perfect. Uh-oh. He's loose. Well, that's gonna be an interesting time trying to get him back in. Hey, wait, no, don't you go into the slime pit. Oop, you almost got it. Oh, no. You know what? I think it's boat time. Uh -huh. Uh 
I right, gotta be very careful on this one, because I don't want to hit him. Alright. There we go. Huh. I don't seem to have any more lecterns up here. So, what's going on then? Huh. Ooh, that's gotten quite a bit. <sighs> okay. I guess we'll just pick all these up and bring them down. And now for the mason. And now the weaponsmith. Alright, who's next? Oh. No one, apparently. I didn't make enough slots. I need at least three more. And then I probably want to expand it even more for more villagers after that. Okay. This might take a little while. And it's time lapse time again. Yeah. This one's pretty short though, so. If you'll just bear with me for a moment while I correct that mistake. Alright, so I've muted the audio and taken down my F3 screen to show you guys my new vault. It is really, really hard to find. It uses a trigger that I designed. I'm sure someone else has done something similar to it before, but this one, Sari won't be able to go and block all the torches so mobs spawn in it like he was in the last one. So yeah. I would say don't let him know, but uh... He's not going to be able to find it. <laughs> okay, I got them built up. So now I just need to get the last couple villagers in there. But I need to actually make a couple more lecterns because somehow one of these guys isn't actually supposed to be in here. Wait a minute. Fortune 1. Pretty sure I have a Fortune 3 guy. Yeah. So, uh, you. You are the imposter. Hmm, how can I stop this from causing bad juju? I don't want the bad villager juju, so I guess I'll have to get a boat and take him away from the village before slaughtering him. Alright, imposter. Right this way, my good sir. Come on, out. Perfect. Now I can just leave him here for a while. And I can put my real villager in there. The one that gives... What is this? Efficiency 5? Yeah. Yeah, screw you. So, in we go. Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell did you come from? Is this... How did this spot get so dark? It's because I'm missing a torch. Okay. Question is where... Precisely is it missing from? I'll have to investigate that. Anyway, let's get him out of there. And go ahead and send the other villager in. Or wait, did the... I didn't send the farmer yet. Oh, 
Off you go. Perfect. All right, last guy. Um, excuse me. What? What is going on here? Oh, that one didn't retract. I'll have to look into that. So what's going on with you then? Need a boat! Back over to the rails, my good sir. Don't you die on me. Hmm, idea. I don't have to lay a finger on him. Hmm, that one did it too. I wonder if I built all these wrong, like skipped a step or something. Hmm. Ah, I missed some redstone. All right, fair enough. There we go. Should be fixed now. I've finally done it. I have completed my deck. <laughs> Ace of Hearts, Mending, Respiration 3, Unbreaking 3, Aqua Affinity. King of Hearts, Mending, Unbreaking 3. Jack of Hearts, Mending, Unbreaking 3, and Thorns 3. They're damaged a bit because I punched the armor stand accidentally. <laughs> Queen of Hearts, Depth Strider 3, Feather Falling 4, Unbreaking 3, and Mending. Every one of them was gotten from my trading system. It's wonderful. Still haven't gotten any slime from this slime farm though. Although, I'm not surprised, it's not a great slime farm. I'll have to look into it. Alright guys, so I have been busy. That's not all that I have some in storage. I've also made all these splash potions of weakness though. So now we should be able to take these two items there and convert one of these villagers to a zombie and back to get better trades. The question is, who? Don't think him. Depth Strider, Thorns, Feather Falling, and Aqua Affinity. No. Nah. Uh, this guy isn't leveled up all the way, so Mending and Riptide. Nah. Respiration 3, Loyalty 2, he's not leveled up all the way. Unbreaking 3, Thorns 1, no. Uh, efficiency, I think, is the most expensive. Yeah, that's the most expensive one. I might try it with him first. And maybe with the Stone Diorite guy, too. To get better rates from that. But, yeah, I think we'll just start off with him. So, what are you doing? Um, scoot back, please. There we go. So now he should get converted. Might take a while. There we go. So now I pull him back up, hit him with a splash potion of weakness, and then give him the apple. Yeah, there we go. So now it'll take a while, but he should heal. And Mojang, that, that bug on the texture has been there for a long time. You guys need to get your shit together. 
<laughs> I know that there are a lot of more pressing bugs, but that's really immersion breaking. Oh, there we go. Hey, let's see what the trade is now. 35 as opposed to 64. That's that's actually really good. Let's get a couple of those. Because I know that the other guys on the server will want those. Oh, wait a minute. That's... What the hell? Okay, that was interesting. And it defaults to multi-shot. Odd. Alright, I'll just get four. That should be enough for quite a while. Alright, wonderful. Alright, once again, I have muted the volume and hidden my F3 screen so you guys can't find this. I'm talking to you, Sari. <laughs> but I am in some dire straits. This, that's all the iron I have. The only other bits of iron I have are like three ingots that I have in my uh, in my ores chest. So that's uh, that's a getting a bit low. I did have this whole wall basically covered. I have used a lot of my gold as well for the golden apples, but I think on diamonds I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> Some of my emeralds. I apparently used up a lot more than I thought I did when I was doing that trading session for the efficiency books because I'm currently down to nine blocks and a couple loose emeralds. So I'll need to bring that back up as well. And I'm happy with this room, especially the door. Once again, we're going to time lapses because I just got the software I've been messing around with it a lot, made a couple of them and thought I'd put them in. Apparently I made a lot more than I needed and I still want to include them. Oh well. <laughs> but if you don't like time lapses, you can go ahead and leave now. I'll, uh, I'll wait. Actually, I won't. Time lapse is already going. Yeah, the first three time lapses here. The first one, I believe, is my bamboo farm. The second one is me making the second layer of a cactus farm because apparently I forgot to record the first layer. And the last one is hooking them up with a uh, an auto smelter XP farm because my tools have been getting damaged a lot. So <laughs> this is hopefully to fix that problem, although it's not currently outputting enough cactus I've found. I've also found that I can get all the XP I need from the villagers, especially the librarians, now that I have trades with bookshelves and books, as well as the uh, zombie conversion, because I can make two emeralds off of every bookshelf I buy. So, that's a nice way to get XP and emeralds. The last clip here is a time lapse of the farms running while I AFK at a fish farm. I built one of those. I've only used it once so far and I probably, actually, uh, I've used it twice so far, but I don't plan on using it too terribly much, just as XP if I need it.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. I know this one ran a bit long, but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy, don't hit the like button, dislike it. I don't really care. If you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you'll get notified whenever I make new content. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.